Well, hello and welcome people to the internet to a Synergy Spellbuilding Bullet Heaven Roguelike. This demo just dropped on the Steam page the other day and I figured we'd check it out. I've done a I've done a run or two here, so uh, which luckily I did that because there is no tutorial. So you do kind of have to figure things out by yourself. Now, for the most part, the concepts in these games are you're going to see kind of familiar. Uh, they're they're going to be familiar, right? Um, but as the implementation goes... There's definitely some things that I, I would like to be told as a player, but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. If you want to check out the demo for yourself, link will, of course, be down in the description as always. But let's go ahead and jump in. We have our typical roguelike map here. Uh, now, unfortunately, some of these don't really have, uh, well, actually, most of them don't really have descriptors, descriptors here. Now, of course, for the encounters we do, so we can see that there's going to be some larger enemies, and you're going to be familiar with what enemies th these are after we jump into the first map. Like, for example, I know the bomb enemies. Spoiler, I don't like the bomb enemies. <laughs> um, but we have a timer how long we're going to have to survive. The chests themselves, I... Well, we'll take a look at those. I, I haven't really figured that out yet. Um, we have a blacksmith here, but you can see it's literally just blacksmith. There's no kind of indication of what that is. Same thing with the wizard. Campfire, I would assume, is kind of our standard heal slash maybe an upgrade. Although, based on my past experience, the wizard is the actual upgrade. So, uh, let's go ahead and go to this encounter down here. Uh, this is the extent of the tutorial right here. WASD and space to, de to dodge. Uh... There you go. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. So, okay, well, that was fun. I appreciate the spider spawning in my face and then attacking me. That was cute. Um, yeah, so we do have some occasional uh, objectives on the map. So you can see down here, there's a cooldown. We just have to kind of sit in this ring for a certain amount of time. What the time is, I'm not sure, but uh, we do have chests here as well. Now, do the chests, I'm not exactly sure what the chests do. Maybe they give you, okay, yeah, that's, okay, hang on. One, one thought at a time. I'm scatterbrained. <laughs> um, yeah, so we got okay. The okay. So if you haven't figured out why I don't like the bombs yet, they don't show the radius of where they attack you, and they just kind of explode. So I would definitely like a preview of damage before before it happens. Um, so we've collected our two chests, and again, I'm not exactly sure what that does. It didn't seem to give us any coins, which we can use to upgrade later on. There's another indicator. Okay, yep, we're just exploding here. Um, yeah, not not a big fan of the bombs just randomly exploding and not knowing what the radius is. Could I dash away? Yes, of course. But if I don't need to spend my dashes, I would prefer not. So you can see like right there, this one had no indication that he was going to explode. And luckily I was far enough away. But stuff like that, I mean, you gotta give you gotta give players a uh, time to, to dodge. Now, we do have different spells here, and as soon as we finish up this level, we'll go ahead and uh, look at the spell building system. The wands themselves have a lot of customization that you can actually build into. There we go. So now that we've completed the level, uh, luckily we're over here. The first, so the first time that I played this, so basically this is the portal out of the level, right? I spawned, basically the first time I played, it looked like this to me. I had no idea what to do. There was no buttons to go to the next level. So that was a little confusing. Um, now, I eventually walked around the map and found this. So, you know, just for, for the dev's sake here, if they are watching, maybe, uh, you know, maybe spawn this near the player. Another kind of thing I'm not sure about, the, the training dummies. Because the training dummies are here, we're just kind of randomly, we're attacking all the time. We don't need to be attacking right now. That's fine. We can just turn these off. So, okay, let, let's let's take a look at the ones themselves here because there's a lot of information here and you kind of have to figure it out for yourself. Now, we have the, the wand themselves, which I haven't figured out what this symbol is. Um, it's supposed to be what the wand is like not sure because this shows all the different modifiers right but the modifiers can be seen on here so for example we have water element and we have our synergy indicators right over here on the side now uh for example if we have two water modifiers we're going to have an ability called water splash to create a water splash when hitting an enemy uh, slowing surrounding enemies so this is kind of like the auto battler system that we've seen where if you have multiple of a certain type of unit you're going to get additional bonuses now we also have the elemental or we have like what class they all are so it's just another kind of tag um here we have where we can put modifications so we currently have a modifier on this wand which is increasing our damage 
but every time we collect 13 gold, we're going to get an additional modifier on this. This is currently locked, so we can't change this because it comes standard on the wand itself. And then we have the projectile, the type of damage that the wand is doing. So this wand right here, which is the spinny wand, is doing the spear attack we can see right there. And then this wand is doing the arcane sword. So we can see that there's uh, like... I'm not sure if it's just the style of one that it looks like, right? You can, So we can tell that this wand right here, the scroll, is this one. I'm not sure if that's supposed to do anything else other than that. Uh, and then we have the cooldown of the weapon itself. So once a level ends, we can go ahead and open up these chests. Now, these chests give us stuff. So perhaps the, the, the chest that we pick up during a run adds to the chest that we see here. So maybe we were only going to get two chests, but because we picked up two other chests, we have a total of four. So we can select a projectile here. I think I'm going to take... Hmm. So we could take Magic Ball, which has five damage and three cooldown. Arcane Sword only has two. So let's go ahead and take a projectile here. Come over to this chest. Now we have different components. So the components are go into these square spaces. So we could take split projectiles, split the projectiles into multiple debuff projectiles before launching them. Okay, so they're, it looks like they're going to get a 60% debuff likely to damage. When the projectile ends, it gets forked into multiple project, uh, debuff projectiles. Okay, so this increases the amount of projectiles that comes out. And then we have a one modifier crit chance. And it also applies to the next wand. So if I were to put this in this wand, this the top wand, this wand would also get the benefits from here. And I think that seems pretty good. I'm going to take that wand modifier and I'm going to slide it right up into here. But there is a downside, does it say? Yeah, so in the top left here, it says 0.75. So it's going to increase the cooldown of both our wands. Uh, we can select a new projectile. So we have the spear, we have a pulse wave and magic explosion. Um, I think I'm going to take the magic explosion, maybe. Maybe we take pulse wave. Is there any difference between these? This one does a little bit more damage. And other than that, they seem to be the same. So I'm not sure why I wouldn't just take pulse wave. It just has more damage and all the same downsides. Uh, we have the one dual modifier. So this decreases cooldown and decreases crit damage. This just increases damage, but increases cooldown as well. Increases projectile size, increases cooldown. So I think I'm just going to take the one cooldown and crit damage. So let's take that and we can pop this into this one, I suppose, to decrease the cooldown. Or maybe maybe we put it in the sword. I think the sword might be the sword might be a little bit better. Um, now, if we wanted to, because it's a fire element, I can actually change this arcane sword. So if I want to change it to a pulse wave, I can just put it right there. The uh, the projectile mo the projectile modifier goes into our inventory, and now our effect is a is a pulse wave. Now, that's a quite a bit slower. Yeah, so I think we're going to stay here um, with the 2.8 seconds. And we'll go ahead and go to the next level. Okay, now I'm kind of hoping... I'm not sure... I don't think the blacksmith is going to heal me, unfortunately. And I have not found any healing items on like in the maps themselves so if the campfire is the only way to heal this is an awful route to take <laughs> there's literally not a campfire i can take so let's i haven't been to the blacksmith yet so let's see if we can make it to the blacksmith okay we well we have a, a free chest right there that's a nice little pickup uh one thing i do like we have a million dashes literally a million i don't know if you guys knew this but this amount of dashes it, it equals one million um so yeah, so we're just going to keep going. Now, we only have two wands right now. We will be able to pick up more as we go. Unfortunately, we just got a bunch of uh, modifiers there on the last run, but we will be able to pick up more wands, and with more wands comes more power, and with more power comes more damage? Is that what they say in the comics? There we go. Get rid of them. We pick up the chest, and again, spider spawned right on me. That was fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and make our way up here. See if we can't grab some extra coins. Stay away from these bombs. Uh, bombs are, are no bueno. We don't like the bombs. Yeah, so you can see, uh, based on the three enemies that we saw on the preview, we obviously have the bombs, then we have the little spiders, and we have the bigger, the uh, these horny spiders. Um, but, uh, you know, other than that, th those are the only enemies that I I've fully seen so far. 
and uh yep they're they're mighty creepy the bombs are 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 yeah yeah I've, I've said my piece on the bombs okay let's go we're doing okay here let's survive pick up the rest of these coins and I've collected all of our chests so I, I think we I think that's that might be it on this on this map we just need to survive an additional five seconds here shouldn't be too much of a problem perfect yeah, so here here is kind of like one of those situations where if, if I'm a new player and I pop in like this, it's just kind of like, uh, what, what do I do? What do I do? You popped up my inventory. Um, but luckily that was right in the corner, so I did see that. All right, let's select a component. We have uh, more critical damage, less regular damage. Wand cooldown. So this increases our cooldown by 0.5 and then decreases it by 0.75. Kind of weird. I... I would figure that you wouldn't be increasing the cooldown if you're also decreasing the cooldown. Um, we also have project. I'm, I'm still going to take it, though. And we're, we're going to pop it into this one. Speed that one up a little bit. What else do we get here? Uh, projectile size. That could be pretty good for the arcane sword. Hmm. Additional damage for every 11 gold collected. I feel like that's pretty bad. We don't collect that much gold. Here is just more damage, though. I think I'm going to take size, and I'm guessing... Where did all my other stuff go? Um... Okay, so apparently anything in your inventory goes away when you... when you leave. I did not know that. Because my, my, pul my pulse wave went away. I, I don't have it anymore. Okay, so now we get to select a new wand. Now, when looking at wands, we could go here with with this with this wand. Uh, it has a couple tags, so it has a greedy tag, which we don't have anything yet. We do have fire element. We only have one indication of fire element. Two would give us fire boots, would leave fire pits when walking around. And we don't really get anything for going with this. Now, let's see, we do get more crit damage. And if we put it... Okay, so we're gonna take this wand. How do I how do I select the wand? How do I select the wand? Selecting wand. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna drag it into here. Now I'm gonna swap these two uh, because this one is applying crit here. Now can I see the crit chance of this weapon anywhere? Um, I don't know that I can. This just says crit chance plus twenty four. But I'm not seeing anywhere where this... In, maybe this? Okay, that's strange that you can pause your weapons. Okay, maybe that didn't pause it. Um, not sure what that button does. Oh, now it, now it goes. Okay. Yeah, like... Okay, so you gave me a manual toggle here. Why wouldn't you just turn it off? Like, if, if, if there's nothing in the target range, why wouldn't you just turn it off? But, okay. um, Yeah, there's nothing. I don't see anything that's indicating what the, what the crit chance for this wand is. So, let's go ahead and pick up this last one. Select a component. Scatter projectiles. That's a pretty big debuff. Um, ooh, damage is pretty good. I feel like that's going to be pretty good. Or we could take the crit damage. I think I just want to take regular damage. So, we'll take that. We can pop that up here. That's going to apply to the one down here. And uh, yeah, we can we can keep keep on trucking. Okay, blacksmith, what you got for me, buddy? So, um, yeah. So th this is this is interesting. So we could reroll or upgrade components. However, we we lost our components. Components went away when we went into the next level. So. That system seems a little little strange, um, but we can buy stuff. There we go. What can we buy? Instant reload affected wands when condition trigger is met. So every 10 gold collected, it automatically... Re eh, that's a lot of gold for that. More damage, but you lose crit chance. I feel like that's not that great. Player speed, plus 0 0.01 and you add three quarters of a second that i feel like is pretty 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 uh i'm gonna go with the word awful uh <laughs> um yeah that doesn't seem all that great we could take pebbles 
Pebbles seems kind of decent considering it's it's a really fast attack, which I feel like I might need right now. Right now, all my attacks are so slow. I just need something to do a little bit more damage. Could grab another wand, though. Maybe we just do that. Maybe we just grab another wand. This would give us another uh, Minotaur class tag. Increases player speed and dash number. Yeah, I mean, this increases our speed by 0.75. This is 0 0.01. So what would what would that be? 11 times uh, 775. So I need to collect 700. What is that? Eight, is that 825 gold? No. That, that's not even... I don't know. I'm not doing that math. Don't judge me. Uh, okay, let's let's just grab a new wand. Let's just let's just grab a new wand. There we go. We get another attack in. We get that Minotaur class, and uh, yeah, we get. Uh, oh, now we're up to two million. This this one dash is now two million dashes. Okay, we are uh, as we say in the industry broke. So let's go ahead and take on the next encounter. Uh, fantastic. We spawn right here, so we can get this done immediately. Okay, spider spawned on my butt. Multiple spiders spawned in my butt. I, I would really appreciate that to, to not be there. Um, okay. Yep. Bomb exploded right in my face. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, we're, we almost cleared it. Can we clear it? There we go. There's the clear. Uh, let's go ahead and pick up the chest. Pick up the other chest. And now we just survive. Fantastic. All right, now just now don't don't spawn in my face, please. All right. Oh, this is a this is a large map. This is a okay. That was fun. Um, just please please stop spawning on me. Ooh, more gold. Let's grab more gold. Okay, we're getting rich again. 45 gold. Fantastic. Hang on. Is there anything? Let's see. I want to see if there's anything in here. Um, hmm. No, I was going to see if maybe there was a stat menu when we jumped in here to see to see our crit rate. Um, wow, we get point, point 0.1 health regen. I haven't seen my health going up, but oh, nice. Spider spawned on me. Cool. Let's see if let's see if we can see our health going up. Oh, there we go. 23 health. Very nice. Can we get to 24 before the timer ends? Okay, we Oh, we just did. Fantastic. Okay. Let's go ahead and pick up the chest here. Um cooldown. Yes, I want the cooldown definitely. What do we get here? We can get damage. We can get hmm crit damage or just damage. Let's just get damage. And then what do we get in these chests? Um change the one target the biggest enemies first. I don't think that I necessarily need that. We can get, oh, more crit chance. Yeah, we can get a really powerful crit chance here. So let's go ahead and pick that up. We can pop that in here. Now this one's getting a bunch of crit chance. And then, oh, we get a new wand. Okay, so if we pick water, water would give us a water splash slowing surrounding enemies. And I think that's the only thing. We don't have anything for ice. Um... This would give me a shield, but I don't have any other shield tags. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take this wand. And then let's also do, let's see, one cooldown. Let's go ahead and decrease that cooldown. And then damage, we'll go ahead and, in and increase the damage there. Nice. Okay, next next floor. Let's go. Uh, we have a another regular encounter. Oh, 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 now we got, now we got, uh, we got the spitty eggs, or the spitty worms. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, let's see, let's see if we can't get this done. Wow, okay, there are a lot more enemies all of a sudden. Um, there are a lot more enemies. 
Oh, finally, we get a heart. How much does this heal? 20 health. Okay, that's actually pretty good. I am... Okay, apparently I wasn't out of dashes. It felt like I was, but then... Uh, yep, that guy spawned right in front of me. I don't know that I'm going to be able to, to finish that. Ah, um, I died. So, let's go ahead and, uh, okay, so, oneness. Um, there definitely needs to be, I think, some polish to this game. Um, so, for example, the fact that this literally just, like, pops on screen is, is kind of jarring. And that kind of happened the same thing when, when wands pop up. Um, kind of the same thing happens. Stuff just, like, pops on screen. There's no, like, animation or there's no, like, indication to tell you that something has changed. Um, the, the one system itself, while cool, uh, there, there's a lot that, the, like, so you kind of have to, I mean, okay, let me, let me, let me gather my thoughts here. Let's, let's, let's focus up. Let's, come on guys, focus up. So the, the game itself need, does need a lot of polish and that it kind of concerns me because it looks like the game is planning on releasing an early access this quarter four. I'm, I'm not sure that the game is necessarily ready for that, especially since early access typically means that you're going to be charging people for it. Um, I think the, the building system is actually fairly interesting. Uh, it is a little similar to, oh, uh, what was that game? Um, shoot. There, there's another like wand, wand building game that was quite popular a few, a few months ago. And I unfortunately cannot remember what it was called. It your your character would kind of like change into like a different creature as you got different different additions. Um, I, I'm not gonna remember what it is. My awful memory here kicking me in the butt. But yeah, the fact that like you you can't really see the stats on any of your wands it is a little odd. Um, the the spawn system so obviously i understand that you can see where enemies are spawning right there's a little purple circle but the fact that they spawn literally like right in front of you and then even sometimes spawn under you it is a little weird i would think there would be some kind of buffer to not have enemies spawn like right where you are um that being said as well, I would like to see preview on damage. Whenever damage is going to happen, that might not necessarily be the case or need to be the case for melee characters like the spiders, because once you're close up, you can assume they're going to attack you while there is also contact damage. But for the bombs, like I think they just need to be a little bit more consistent in how they explode. I noticed that there were some bombs that would start to flash and but then there was another bomb at one point that literally just exploded immediately as i got close to it and i almost feel like like it needs to be more consistent so if you're going to do the flashing things whenever it starts flashing it should probably just like have maybe three or four flashes and then explode every time so basically once the flashes start that's the trigger and you know it's going to explode at some point rather than i also noticed that there was a bomb that just like kept flashing because it was kind of close enough to me that it's like hey i might explode soon but there was no like basically you need to have a trigger that the player knows like hey this is going to happen in you know let's say a second and a half the player might not know a second and a half but knows like oh this is going to happen at a certain instance but then also have a a radius indicator on the bomb itself so i know how far away i need to be rather than just guessing how far away i need to be um the fact that there is like zero tutorial is also a little bit strange, especially since there there's like a lot there there is quite a bit of of depth in the system in terms of how you can go about upgrading your wands, right? So you have the the I'm not so the first thing I'm not sure about is the wand type, right? Is it just decorative or does it do anything else? I couldn't see any indication of um why the wands were different shapes at all. Um, so you have the different elements. Maybe the different to one type is tied to the element. I would have to relook at it, but now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think so, because if you go to the Steam page in the craft spells section, um, they're kind of showing you how you can change the wand's behavior with different modifications. And the fire wand that they have is very different from the scroll we had. And now that I think about it, I think we had two different scrolls of different elements. So uh, there is that. 
Um, so yeah, I wasn't exactly sure why there were different wand shapes. Um, but so let's look at all the different components to all the different wands that you actually have. So you have the the element modifier. You also have uh, different modifiers, like you had the the shield, which ink, which would give you a shield. You had like the minotaur slash berserker tag. Um, you had the like greed tag or the gold tag. So you have all these different tags that synergize and increase the bonuses you get. You also have the components and the components you have different things there. So different types of spreads. You could either fork your, your projectiles. You could split them in the beginning. You could quad split them in different directions. You can increase projectile size. Then on top of that, there are modifiers to the components themselves. Are they going to affect the wand right below? Are they going to affect the wand above? Are they going to affect the wands too below? Which I don't think we saw in this run through, but in my previous run through, you can get modifiers to um, affect the wands two spaces below and above. Um, and then you also have the projectile type and that changes. Although some of the projectile types, I didn't see much of a difference in. So uh, we saw that with the the um, the curved blast and magical explosion, those in terms of damage, cooldown and the other modifier, those were all the same. I'm assuming the only difference is the shape itself of the projectile. I'm assuming that the the curved one that we took and then didn't end up using because it disappeared on us um, goes in a straight line versus the explosion is going to hit a larger AOE. Um, but other than that, I, I didn't really notice a difference. And then obviously you have the cooldown modifiers. So there, there's a lot of different changes that can be made to the wands. And I feel like a tutorial, especially, I mean, let, let's look at this from somebody who's never played one of these games, right? I'm assuming that if you're watching this, you've probably played a bullet heaven or two, and you might have even played another game with these systems. Again, I'm trying to, I can't remember the name of the game that I'm thinking of, but um, you may have played that game. You may have played other auto battlers. So you're familiar with the synergy system and understanding like, oh, one through six blocks. Like once we get to two tags of the same name, we're going to get a bonus. Once we get to six tags, the same name there's a bigger bonus so you understand that menu system but if if you've never tried you, you have to you, you have to look at games as a percentage of the player base that is going to play your game has what happens if they have never picked up a game like this before right think of Think of yourself as a, a young individual. There was a time where you had never played a video game before, right? And the market is always evolving. So you're going to have people who have never played a video game before. So if this is the first video game they've ever played, you're going to have to explain to them like what the systems are. So it was a little odd jumping into this demo, having like no explanations of the systems at all. Um, for example, the chess system. I, I'm guessing that that just added chess to the end of the run, but I don't know that for certain because there was no indicator other than just assuming that's the case. There was nothing to concretely tell me that that's what was going on. Um, so again, as someone who could come, who might be coming into this game uh, completely fresh, having never played this genre before, that might be a little bit confusing and might need to be fleshed out a little bit. Um, could definitely use some polish in the map aspect. Uh, so, for example, we saw the blacksmith, right? Uh, and now, unfortunately, that ties into another thing where maybe, maybe I got rid of the the modifiers and I'm just completely out of my mind and I blacked it, like I blanked it out of my memory. But I don't think I did. So, did those projectile, did the the projectile and modifiers, did those just vanish when we when we left? because I, I don't remember getting rid of them. Maybe I clicked a button and I, and I didn't realize it. I'm sure you guys will let me know if, if I, I did do something. Um, but yeah, so we had the blacksmith and which has a shop in it so you can buy stuff and you can also upgrade your, your modifiers. Now we didn't go to the wizard this time. If you go to the wizard, it's kind of the same thing. You can upgrade wands as opposed to the mod. So the blacksmith is for upgrading modifiers and the wizard is for upgrading wands. Both places you can go to also have a shop, so if you want to hit a shop, you can. Um, it seemed to me that healing was a little bit more needed than we were finding, so might need to up the amount of health pack drops that are actually dropping. Now, that being said, that could be alleviated 
once the uh, the bomb explosion like preview is fixed, and then maybe if uh, enemies don't spawn literally right on top of you, that could also be fixed. Um, that said, obviously don't walk into spawners, which I'm not oblivious to the fact that I did once or twice, but um, I, f I feel like it's a purple spawner on top. I mean, you can look at this rock right here, right? What color is this? This is basically purple. Obviously, we know that it's supposed to be gray, but because of the color grading, it it's definitely purple. So if you have a purple spawner on a purple ground, it's going to be a bit tougher to see. And it's not like a bright purple. It's like kind of a faded purple, right? We've, we've definitely seen other games um where you have like let's say for example you have red attacks on top of an orange ground on top of brown enemies oh man what was the game was it um oh it was uh guardians of the omniverse that had that boss that was like brown attacks on top of brown dirt with brown enemies <laughs> and it was like i i can't see what's going on so you kind of have that thing like you have to you have to separate the colors a little bit for for players to be able to kind of see what's going on there um where, where is i going with that oh yeah, yeah yeah so maybe add a little bit more more healing to uh the pool or or to the map itself um to help out players some of the numbers definitely seemed off as well um so for example getting plus plus 0 0.01 move speed for every 11 coins received i i i'm gonna be honest i don't know when you would ever take that upgrade that <laughs> those numbers seem very far off um so yeah th there's definitely gonna have to be some some balancing to some of the stats but other than all that i know that's a that's a lot of critiques um those are kind of the ones just off the top of my head i did really i do think that the the one construction system itself with the i'm calling it like the auto battler synergy system i think that it is a a really fun idea i think that this just you know it's a very early version demo you can see we're 0.0.7 .0 so very early version it's almost more of like a conceptual demo for the gameplay mechanics as opposed to the game itself right um so i feel like a lot of the systems probably aren't implemented yet basically right now there's zero replay value because there's no like meta progression there's no different characters there's no unlock system so this does just feel like a very early version um like conceptual test which is why in the beginning i kind of said i was a little worried about that quarter forward 2024 release because again if you're if you're going into early access I, I'm personally one where I'm kind of old school. I don't, I'm kind of biased, right? I don't really like early access because basically what it does is it kind of, once you get to full release, full releases to me nowadays just feel like the next big update, right? A game release used to mean that the game was out. <laughs> now it's kind of like early access means the game is out and then full release is just like, the first big dlc that's kind of how it feels like to me and if you were to ask me like is this game ready for for release no <laughs> so um we'll we'll see um we'll you know i'll keep my eye on it see if uh the updates prove to be a little bit more uh impactful provide a little bit more context to the game itself but for right now, it is a very early look at the demo. Uh, but what do you guys think uh, of oneness? Let me know down below in the comment section. And if you want to check out the game for yourself, link will, of course, be down below in the description as always. But for today, that's going to do it for me. I've been Ganyans. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.